Welcome to the vlog! This was a solo road trip day. The intention was to explore my new old camera, a Pentax Spotmatic F. So the photos that you'll see will be negative corrected, white balance corrected, with contrast recovery, which was needed due to all my photos being underexposed. This was my first time out with a film camera, completely out of my element. Mistakes were, they were bound to be made. I'll have a video up next week that will cover those images in a critical and more educational manner. This over here will be a vlog with some narrative voiceover. And to repeat, these are contrast corrected images which were correct using the Curve in Lightroom. Now I know these images need to be improved upon. I know my scanning, my editing, my techniques, everything, nothing was consistent and on point. So for a full video that goes through that process and through those mistakes, I'll have a video up next week that will cover those images in a critical and more educational manner. While I'm getting my tank filled up, I'm gonna drive through to Stellenbosch today, gonna take a look at the University Botanical Gardens. I've never been before. Play with... Perfect, thank you so much. My oil's still fine. How about I just tell you everything once we get there and I'm more calm. A little bit nervous right now driving all the way there. Just a quick pit stop. I'm gonna take a photo of that, play around with the Sunny 16, see what I can get. So going with the Sunny 16. Sunny day, F16, I need to match my ISO, which is 200. So matching my ISO with this is 250. And then F, so F16, shutter of one over 250. And my ISO ASA of 200 produced the photo that I'm about to show you now. And then using the spot meter, which metered for the blue engine sign, told me to use a shutter speed of 500 f8 with my ISO of 200. I'm not the best with numbers but then when I write it down it makes sense it's just the invert 500 divided by 2 250 16 divided by 2 8 it's just the reverse to stop by here Photos of these trees with, I don't know if you can see it from here, that sign over there. Sunny 16 again. Just stopped over here to photograph these mountains. A little hazy, but I'm sort of facing the direction of the sun, so I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit. I don't know, overexposed. So what I've done is I've done sunny 16, but what I also did, so that's one, two, one over 250 with F16, but then I also tried the next one with one over 500 to see how that handles the shadows and probably a blown out highlight. I don't know. In segments where I mention a spot meter, I am referring to an app on my phone. So I'm not gonna go as far as blaming the app because though I knew that I'd be better off overexposing my images, the digital photographer in me had a tough lesson to learn as you'll find out during this video. I went for Sony 16 when not using the app, but with an ISO of 200 and my closest shutter being 250, I was destined to underexpose as I did not adjust my f-stops accordingly. Okay, so I initially made a mistake. I forgot to change my shutter speed back to 250 for sunny 16. So it's 500 f16 and I shot in the shade. So that's going to be underexposed. Took it back down to 250 f16 to see how that works. And then I took it to f11 to see if I should bring a little bit more light into those shady areas, seeing as that guy or the cones and the men doing the cleaning or the not the cleaning the painting was what i wanted to expose for and then obviously i forgot to use my phone light meter another thing to note is that up until now i've been shooting with this over my um over the you know the lens so this might actually have more of a glare effect on my initial photos i took this off just before taking the photos of the painters of the street. Also getting a little nervous because I've never done this before and I don't know if this is just gonna all come out wrong, which will have made this all a very expensive mistake. And it is now almost 10 to eight, which means the botanical gardens will be opening up in a few minutes, about 15 minutes or so. 
So I'm gonna make my way there. Got all my stuff, I think. Gonna get going. I think I'm going the wrong way. Maybe. Maybe I went the right way. But it looks very close. Use our Van Rubiek Street entrance. Where's that? I'm trying to expose for that part over there. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I don't know. I want that to be a shadowy expose for that. That actually might make the sky darker. I don't know. What is middle? That's a shadow down there. Shadow. That's middle. Or is that middle? I think this is going to be middle. It tells me, the spot meter tells me to go shutter speed 1000 f5.6. In case you didn't notice, this photo is entirely underexposed to being nothing. So I wanted to photograph this over here, but we're quite shady. And with my ASA of 200, the readings just don't really allow for me to realistically to be able to take um, a non-blurred image of this. The shutter will be too slow considering how windy it is. I would have at the very minimum liked to have a shutter of like 250 or something like that. And I can't. I don't think I can. Palm tree high, sunny 16. I wonder if the 250 will freeze wind motion. I'll put in a screenshot of what I want this to look like using the spot meter app. And it told me to do 1000. Shot of a thousand and F8. Let's see if we can get this. I never cease to amaze One myself. One thing that I am a little nervous about is that I'm trying to create some punchy photographs that are that have some contrast. So I am trying to get some shadows to be dark, but I know that for film photography you're better off overexposing than underexposing. So I'm wondering if I'm making a mistake by trying to get that all in camera and rather just instead of relying on maybe just overexposing slightly and then fixing that in Lightroom because I'm gonna try scan these photos in Lightroom once I've got them developed. Let's photograph This tomato, red, I have to overexpose the sky and it's telling me to use shutter 250 and f2.2 and I'm going to assume that's 2.2 somewhere around there between 2 and 2.8. Just finished taking this photo over here. I don't think I'm going to finish this full roll of film for this particular little botanical garden walk. I don't, I'm not quite feeling it. I'm a bit nervous. I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly. Fortunately, I brought two other lenses with me. I almost only packed one lens with me, but I've got the energy, I think, to test these two out. I've never put these lenses to the test. I haven't done that yet. So let's see what we can do. I've got a 70 to 300 old Sigma that I've adapted to my S5. And then I've got a Helios 44.2, which I'm also going to adapt to my S5. And maybe I'll squeeze in a few more film photos. That was a good bunch of fun shooting with this. I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing so far. I'm looking forward to putting it through some different environments as well. Before I share the images, I might put a couple on the screen right now. But I just got a call from a woman that I wanted to buy another camera from. And I kind of just missed out on it because someone else put in the offer first. But she just phoned me a few minutes ago to let me know that that person that wanted to the first. option to purchase just didn't show up and hasn't confirmed further. So it just so happens to be that being here, I'm about 15 minutes away from where she is so it just it's worked out perfectly so I'm gonna make my way to go check out the camera there we go she's 
got a little bit of a sticky shutter on certain shutter speeds but I think that's something that can be serviced I got this for the equivalent of like 23 pounds very happy And now that I record, the cows stopped making the sound, but they were very vocal. Cows filmed or snapped at Sunny 16. Gotta take note of that. On my way to go get the Yashika, I passed a cool looking place that I thought would make for some cool photos, film photos and digital photos. So I decided to head on back in that direction. Actually know how many are in here I should double check that uh, how awesome is this place would you hold me if I told you we can just run away so come my darling let me help you we can follow the sun and leave the rain for Taking a bunch. I uh, just took two portraits of two guys, two car guards here, one called Jakobus and one called Mishek. Jakobus was the first one I took. I don't think I got them entirely right because I was a bit anxious and I didn't want them, like I didn't want to tell them to do too much so I think it would have been better if I'd moved them a little bit so that I could actually get a catch light in their eyes which I realized while I was taking the photos that I wasn't getting but um, just practice makes better, I guess. I hope that the portraits came out okay. I'm gonna print it for them and drop them off here next time I'm in the area. Sweating, time to go home. I'm gonna eat an apple, drink some water, and then make my way. I am home. I don't have aircon, so that's a thing. Try to get it to work, and I think we have a leak in there, so we can't use the aircon. So it was a pretty warm drive home. Looking forward to going inside, freshening up. Usually, this part, I would go home, get inside, wash my face, freshen up, drink some water, have some food, and then just get straight into looking at the photos, editing, you know, stuff like that. But it's film photography, so now I just have to wait because I haven't finished the role. I'm trying to be more intentional with photography. So it wasn't just like click, click, click. Um, so probably another day of film photography. But I did take some photos with the S5 with the Sigma 70 to 300, the old one. So I will take a look at those. It's been a good day. It's been a good morning. What's the time? Half past 12. Yep. F5.6. It'd be interesting to see. Did I even get the water? 
water in the shots. I don't think I got the water in the shots, and that's what I wanted to test with this film. Uh,